Okay, so this is interesting. Kelsey A and Daisy were spotted filming a date on Jen's season of The Bachelorette. So Reality Steve has the tea. He says, Jen's date today in Seattle is Wicked slash Wizard of Oz themed prop across promotion for the Wicked movie coming out in November. So Reality Steve also posted these photos of Jen. She is in Seattle. She's got high country boots on and she is on a date. Now, a few weeks ago, Bachelor did post that there was an exciting Seattle date opportunity for fans to sign up. And it was this weekend, and you're gonna have lots of drama, tears, romance, roses. I don't know if anybody went, but here was the info for the people who did sign up. But I find this so crazy how Kelsey A and Daisy are back making an appearance, and they're right next to each other, so I almost feel like they're gonna reenact something or play homage to what happened on Joey's season. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at them. What are they possibly doing? Everything Joey and Kelsey have been up to since the Bachelor finale. So we know at the end of the season, Joey proposed and they got engaged. On After the Final Rose, they announced their engagement and their timeline to be engaged for a few years before marriage. They also shared that Joey was gonna move to Louisiana in with Kelsey for a few months before they would ultimately move together in New York City around July. After the show, they did a bunch of press interviews talking about their relationship and the fallout with Daisy. And then after the show, they moved in together and tried to make eggs for all the haters that were talking about their fantasy sweet night. Joey did a cameo on ABC's 911, as well as an ad with HelloFresh. They then went to play Celebrity Family Feud, where they reunited with Joey's ex and other Bachelor Nation alumni. They went to an event for Disney and Hulu, where they got really cool professional photos taken, and recently went to a golf tournament in Augusta, Georgia and also a Looney Tunes gala in New York City. Today's Kelsey's birthday, so Joey posted this picture saying how much she loves her. And it looks like these two are on the right path to be more successful than Gary and Teresa. Andrew and Greg addressed their relationship statuses and their recent breakups on the Trading Secrets podcast. This came out today, and Andrew talked about keeping his recent relationship really low key. Are you single? I am single, yes. You're single? Yeah. So, but you were in a relationship. I was. I was in yeah. an eight-month relationship. Eight-month relationship. Mm -hmm. relationship. Uh, we were end? very, very private. Well, we, like, threw, threw off sense. We didn't follow each other. We just, oh, totally, wow. like, knew. Yeah, it was just... Interesting. It was different. Okay. It was different. You know, I'm trying to try different things of how to navigate this public relationship. Yeah. Greg also confirmed on this podcast for the first time that him and Victoria definitely ended things. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, being in a public relationship and if it's, things aren't working out, it sucks even more. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's hard. Um, really hard. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's sad. Mm -hmm. to be honest with you it's yeah. like really sad and like you know i just want to respect her yeah. during this time and you know not going to detail anything of course, but of course. of course yeah like we, we've definitely ended things yeah man i don't have anything bad to say like yeah. she's she's amazing so he has nothing bad to say about her or their breakup and even goes into a little bit more detail on how they were able to bond by going through a really tough situation with the bachelor in paradise reunion and anything she does get scrutinized i feel like um and I, she has a really good heart um and um yeah it sucks uh because you know seeing somebody go through that type of shit especially somebody that you're with and in a romantic relationship with like yeah. is it's is really tough it's hard to watch it's really hard to watch and, and i and i hated that part of it all but it definitely grew us really close and we were yeah. definitely able to like go through like a really hard time yeah really early yeah so tyler cameron went on watch rabbins live last night and answered a lot of very compelling questions andy asked him how many times the bachelor offered him to be the bachelor roughly how many times has abc asked you to be the bachelor probably like four times four or five times wow and you will oh, wow. never do it no i'll never say never Okay. You know, um, my theory in life is like, tell the greatest story you can tell. Maybe one day down the road, it could be a cool story, but not right now. He was also asked if he would be invited to Hannah Brown's wedding and if he would go. If you score an invite, do you plan on attending Hannah Brown's upcoming wedding? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't think I'll get the invite. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll get, I mean, why should your ex be there, you know? Right. He was then asked what his thoughts were on Gary and Teresa divorcing. Shame, shame, because they're supposed to be setting the standard of what we're supposed to find, and they didn't make it happen. Cancel them. Oh, yeah. Right. I was Cancel. sad. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. He, he followed that up by saying just kidding. Don't yeah. cancel them, yeah. but, but can't look to them for love anymore. And he was also asked when he thinks his best buddy Matt James and Rachel Kirkconnell are going to get engaged. Your buddy Matt James will finally pop the question to Rachel, if ever. I think they will. I, uh, the last time I saw them, they, I mean, they're getting better and better. I think they're very happy. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw something this year or in the, ne in the next year. So I think we'll, we'll get something soon. So Bachelor alum Jason Tardick's new relationship has been revealed. The Bachelorette's Jason Tardick is dating Kat Stickler after ending engagement to Caitlin Bristow. 
There has been rumors about this online for a few months and the two of them don't even have a photo together that's like posted online. But it is now People Magazine official as Tardik previously described the social media influencer as an amazing person. People can confirm that the Bachelorette star and social influencer are dating as Kat showed up to support Jason for a rap party for his new book, Talk Money to Me. Jason has previously tiptoed around answering questions about Kat in the past, but he does describe her as a, an amazing person, a lovely, great mother, and a hilarious content creator. And even though it's confirmed that they are dating, it doesn't necessarily mean that Jason will be super open about this. He does say that due to such a public breakup in the past, when he thinks about talking openly about his dating life, he says that scares him. The whole idea of dating is relatively new for Jason, but he's put so much effort, time, and work into understanding himself on the deepest of levels. So Kat also hasn't said anything about this relationship, but she did post a funny reel laughing at some Bachelor drama. And she likes Maria, so she seems to be in on the joke and a fan of Bachelor Nation. Maybe we'll get an Instagram official update soon, but as far as we know now, sources gave the info to people.